this is the outside of Deborah and Joanne's house. Christmas Eve 2007. I'm shooting high definition. This is the front porch of Deborah and Joanne's house in Virginia. Good evening, I'm Deborah Deal, and this is Christmas 2007. I'd like you to join me this evening for a tour of my house, the house that I share with my mother, Joanne, and our Christmas decorations. Please come inside now. Okay, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the Victorian Christmas tree in the living room. This tree was started about 20 years ago in my own apartment and it's changed over time. There's a lot of uh, wonderful and unique ornaments on it now that uh, were not around 20 years ago when I first started it. Now we have uh, my mother Joanne's collection of Marie Osmond doll heads and there's 13 of those and they're all different. They have um, flowers on them representing different um, months of the year and uh, little pretty faces and curls and things. We also have in, in here the original pink roses that were in the tree from 20 years ago. Uh, let's see we have some gold hearts some um, crystal teardrops. Here's one of my favorites. This is the royal frog, which um, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. So that is a, uh, that's a favorite one of mine, personally. Um, and the rest of the tree is decorated with pink birds, balls, bows, gold pine cones, um, a, white, um, a white peacock, a lot of lacy things, and my collection of um, Fancy Feast Happy Holidays tree ornaments, which um, one came out every year that um, my cat China was alive. And I collected those from every year, and uh, those are hanging on the tree as well. So. Um, so this is a kind of a dressy tree for, for the living room. I'm standing next to the doll cabinet. In here uh, we have not all of Mother's doll collection, but some of it. On the bottom shelf is partial, a part of her um, Santa Claus collection. And those are Santa Clauses in all different kinds of costumes of different countries and different situations and they're really quite nice to look at. And then on top we have some of my holiday Barbies and more Santa paraphernalia and some uh, Jim Shore angels in the middle section. On top is um, one of the woodland Santas and we have this nice little woodland scene up here. Okay. On the mantel is um, uh, just a special display showing the night before Christmas and Santa is putting um, different things in the stockings and the children are all standing around the Christmas tree. This is a fun tree and this is a tree that um, my mother, our, our mother Joanne started some years ago. This is the teddy bear tree and the teddy bear tree is now situated in the sunroom in the new house in South Riding, Virginia. And um, on it are her collection of teddy bear ornaments. And there's some resin teddy bears and stuffed teddy bears. Uh, we also have on here ornaments representing the 12 days of Christmas. And some of the bows that uh, the mother handmade and wired and those are on here as well. Down here are two of her animated holiday uh, decorations as you can see and those are real cute too. Let's see what else can we point out in this room. 
This over here in this corner is another cute little tree. I don't know how well you can see, but there's little tiny ornaments on this tree. And these are just um, adorable little uh, teddy bears and um, other types of Christmas little ornaments. And sitting around the tree are some more of the stuffed daddy, teddy bear collection. And um, it's just a cute scene all around. Okay, right here on the credenza in the living room is the blue and white Christmas tree. And on this Christmas tree are some special ornaments that my brother John uh, brought back from uh, Europe and they're blue and white Delft ornaments. And so this whole tree was put together to showcase those ornaments. And as you can see, we have some silver, um, some silver and pearls um, type garland to also accent it. Visual of it. Okay. Over here are some more of our favorite ornaments. And uh, this is um, a funny little couple here. They're actually dogs dressed up in their Christmas outfits. And here is one of my favorite dolls. It's a doll dressed in red velvet. And she kind of sits here and keeps the dogs company. Right inside the front door here are Mr. and Mrs. Claus here to greet all of our guests and family. As you can see, another extra special touch to the Deal family house during the Christmas season is the lighted garland, which goes all the way up the staircase. Okay, um, this house is um, right now. This is um, Christmas 2007. We moved into this house in August of this year of 2007 so we've been in it about five months it's located in South Riding which is a new home development in uh, Western Virginia not West Virginia but Western Virginia Northwest Virginia and I'm sitting here with my good friend and baby baby doll Princess Anastasia and um, she was very upset by the move, but she's starting to settle down, uh, at least until people start um, taking out boxes for the holidays, and then it kind of upset her a little bit because she was afraid we were moving again. Um, Lee Deal was my first brother, and uh, he's a mammal. He's, a, he's very much a man. He's very... Um, focused and uh, one one minded uh, you know focuses on one thing at a time and um, but uh, he likes to do a lot of different kinds of things and hobbies and um, um, oh my education um, well, I have a bachelor's degree from the University of Central Florida. Um, when I started out going to UCF in 1977, it was Florida Technological University, and uh, it was built in Orlando to um, provide a lot of people with science backgrounds, hopefully to go into the booming, then booming um, NASA space organization and business which was over on the coast not too far from the university but uh, it soon branched out and became more of a liberal arts school as well and so that's when they named it the University of Central Florida. I did take um, quite a few credits for my master's degree in communications but did not write my thesis so I did not get my master's there but I do have a double major in journalism and public relations from uh, from UCF. 
Um, what I remember about Lee was that he was always with John and that they were a pair together to be reckoned with. Um, if one got into trouble, they, mom just assumed the other one was guilty too, so they always both got a spanking. Whether, no matter who did what, um, she figured they were both guilty because they were in cahoots most of the time. They uh, tried to blow up the garage one time. They um, dug um, Playboy magazines out of a dumpster and tore the pages out and tried to sell those in the neighborhood. There were actually families that um, uh, the children were barred from playing with Lee and John because they thought Lee and John were too creative and likely to get their kids into trouble. So. Um, but they turned out okay. They, you know, they went on to be um, very active in Boy Scouts and sports and played baseball and um, Little League ball and um, went, you know, very far in, in, in Boy Scouts. So they turned out okay, but uh, they weren't the kind of pair that you would want to leave alone for very long for fear something might blow up or fall apart. My childhood, we um, we traveled a lot. You know, my my early years in in elementary school, the first years, uh, well, the first probably my first and second year in school. First grade was in Waco, Texas. Second grade was in um, Savannah in a Presbyterian private school, and then third, fourth, and part of fifth were spent on Okinawa, going to school there. Uh, then went to junior high school in Columbus and finished junior high school in Orlando, Florida uh, at uh, Conway Junior High School. And then, of course, went to high school after we moved to the Sweetwater area at Lake Brantley High School and uh, graduated the class of 76, which was the second graduating class for that brand new high school at that time. Okay, and what are you doing for a living now? What do I do for a living now? Um, uh, right now, I'm a um, public relations practitioner and um, marketing officiato. I do a very a variety of things for Purple Mountain Ventures, which is owned by my brother, John. And what we do is um, develop technologies uh, into commercial into commercial businesses out of the U.S. national laboratories um, spread across the country. And one we're working on most diligently right now is the Hyperion Power Generation Company, which is working on a new sort uh, type of transportable uh, nuclear. Uh, power generator and um, it outputs 25 megawatts of, um, of electric energy which can power up to 25,000 homes or uh, variation thereof or something um, that would have the same kind of capacity or need for electrical power. Hello, Stasia. Yeah, I'm your buddy, huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't know what I did to uh, make you so nervous of me, but you're a nervous dog. She's you? just afraid of, she's just a little shy of, of men in general and men with facial hair. And um, oh, I guess so. And I think it's your big mustache that. Yeah, but we like. That causes. We like playing with your ears, don't we? Huh, Stasia? But she's a sweetie, and she she loves to be petted and uh, loved on. So yeah, so yes, don't you? Now she has on her Christmas jingle bells, so she's all set for Christmas, and this is Christmas Eve, two thousand seven. So she's all ready for it. Well, I'm in uh, where am I at? Virginia. What part of Virginia am I at? Look at this, Stasia. Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Outside DC, I'm visiting my mother, sister, and visiting with the rest of the family here for Christmas 2007, and Stasia too. Um, well, let's see. I'm an electrical contractor. 
Uh, I've been an electrician since 1986 and uh, been a master electrician for, gosh, about 15, 16 years now. I own my own business, Good Deal Electric, Inc. Um, I've also uh, have many hobbies and have had many hobbies in the past. My latest is uh, photography and videography and working with a computer. I'm learning the best I can. Um, I graduated from Brantley High School. I've worked as an outdoor, outboard mechanic uh, for a number of years. Um, I'm listening to the grandfather clock chime behind us, which is fine. Um, it's a favorite of my mother's, Joanne. Um, we're having a pretty good Christmas this year. Everybody seems to be uh, happy and healthy. Plenty of gifts around the tree. Um, Away in August, so yes. How's life in Orlando? Well, uh, I helped uh, move uh, Deborah and Joanne up here, along with my brothers, to uh, help them move into the new house up here in uh, South Riding, Virginia. And uh, well, it's definitely warmer in Florida than it is up here in Virginia. Uh, not much has really changed. The population's fallen off a little bit, and of course, construction's down. As history uh, probably has indicated, construction is very flat right now, but I have plenty of work and uh, keep busy with my hobbies and uh, chasing girls. Uh, yeah, I miss uh, being able to drive over and uh, have you know dinner with them and so forth. Um, uh, one thing that is nice that um, you know I, I can call my mother all the time on my cell phone. It doesn't really cost me anything calling long distance. Uh, uh, to talk to mom uh, and Deborah talk, talk to Deborah every once in a while and Bill and uh, Suzanne and Connor and Jillian and John and um, yeah we're having a pretty good time. Um, Where'd you go tonight? This was Christmas Eve. Uh, we went to the National Cathedral tonight uh, down in uh, Georgetown, uh, downtown uh, DC area, Georgetown. I guess as a commercial district down there, retail area. And the National Cathedral is very, very awesome looking, very high ceilings. Um, huge. huge ceilings, lots of people. Had to have special tickets to go see uh, for Christmas, Christmas Eve, which is kind of different. I've never had to have tickets to see Christmas Eve, <laughs> Christmas Eve uh, services. And um, where else did you go? What did I do on Friday when I got here? I went to the movies. Second National Treasure. Oh yeah, well, I saw the National Treasure, uh, number two, Book of uh, Secrets. Um, yesterday, went to see uh, Annie Leibovitz and Ansel Adams at the Corcoran Museum. Uh, it's a lot of photography. Uh, some other permanent fixture items in there, um, which, which was really cool. Um, and that was that's what we did yesterday. I mean, we we've been packing and cleaning and wrapping and everything else around here. But you did something every day. But yeah, oh yeah, we did something every day. Um, action-packed. Action-packed day, and I'm sure we'll have action-packed tomorrow. Unwrapping gifts and. Uh, Spending, spending time over at Bill and Suzanne's and lots of good food. Um, so I had a pretty good Christmas.